Hello everyone, my name's Ilyar2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of Victoria 2 with the Imperial Japanese, or I guess just Japan at this point. Yes, so, this is uh, it's going well I think, uh, much better than our Shogunate campaign. Uh, welcome back to the stream everyone, if you're watching, uh, which no one is right now because I just started. Anyways. So, in the last session, we have, well, created the Japanese Empire, we forced Joseon to be a satellite, we've conquered uh, Taiwan, most of Vietnam, the French took a piece though, Hawaii, and we just liberated the Philippines from the Spanish. Now, this is great because now we can annex the Philippines, they are a primitive nation, which means it's even easier to conquer them. Yes, so, uh... Let's see, we, we still need our infamy to die down a bit. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, you have a strong enough navy. It's okay, you could fight, you know, only 48. I mean, the British have 126, but you know, whatever. Um, but no, a reminder, uh, HPM mod, it adds a lot of dangerous stuff to pop up uh, when you get high in infamy. You don't want that to happen, trust me. By the way, when does the Dark Continent happen? Uh, it has to be 1890. Okay, cool. So, let's uh, continue on. I think for now, we're just going to wait for our infamy to die down. Maybe build up some more industry. Probably some more... Um, what is this? Philippines? No. I don't want the Philippines to like me. I actually want them to hate me. Uh, but yeah, we're getting better tech right now. We're going to eventually kick... Yeah, just remove them from sphere. Now, I believe it gives you one infamy when you do it. Yes, yes, it does. So, that's not good. But we're going to have to do it. Yeah, so we just, if we did, oh, established protectorate's only five. Oh, right, because we have nationalism and imperialism. Right, I forgot about that. Oh, now that it's 1880, I can go get feminology and hermeneutics, so whatever the fuck it's called. I can never. Phenomenology. Phenomenology and hermeneutics. And Hermed Hermenuit. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so everyone wants restriction of child labor. Um, yeah, okay. Go ahead. I don't care. Who needs child labor anyways? The Japanese people are good at labor anyways. Alright. Uh, can we get better naval ports anywhere? No, I don't think so. Whatever. Encouraging craftsmen right now. How many capitalists we got? Oh, we have so many. If we actually looked... Let's look at the ledger. We should be able to see population. Yep, we have the most capitalists in the world. I mean, Germany... They actually have more population than we do, so... That's a good thing. The most capitalists, then the laissez-faire economy can actually work. I'm not going to open or close any factories around here. Yeah, actually, you know, I'll close that one because it's a clipper. No one wants clippers. I'm going to open up that factory because we need steamers. I know we need steamers. Uh, maybe we could open these factories as well because we got plenty of craftsmen. We'll see how well it works. But, uh, yeah. More socialism's popping up. A lot of socialism, actually. Now, if socialists win uh, planned economy, I definitely don't want that because, you know... I want capitalists to be a thing, and if it's planned economy, capitalists stop working. That is a very, very bad thing. All right. So, uh, Africa, we're not going to focus on Africa at all. We'll let the Europeans take Africa. If we dismantle nations, then maybe we'll take African colonies. Also, I'm probably going to dismantle Russia eventually. Um, no, Philippines, we are not friends. Don't even talk to me. Oh shit, they're friendly with the United States. We cannot allow that to happen. No, 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 no. Not in my house. Not in my house. Alright, fine. We'll ally with them. Just for a little bit. Just to make sure the US does not get them under their sphere. Because that is very, very bad. You know what? We'll uh, decrease the Kingdom of Joe's on because we don't need them. By the way, are you civilized yet? No. Still uncivilized, not even partially westernized. We'll get them eventually. Still want to annex like Manchuria and shit. Actually, if we liberated Manchuria, 
made them into a puppet, actually. They own, they own a lot of land. Well, I guess this would make sense, because, you know, they are the Ching. Ching is a thing. Alright, let's go ahead and ban the American Embassy. Cool. Uh, where's my navy? It's all the way down here, right. Uh, we need to actually get the troops home. That would probably be a good idea. Alright. Come on home. Alright, uh, you guys. We're gonna need infantry over here. And the artillery down here. Alright, cool. Uh, we can build another 10,000. Let's reach a good old-fashioned 100 brigades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. And that, yep. That'll be 100 brigades, 300,000 soldiers. We get the Imperial uh, Rescript on Education. We get acceptable school systems. Nice. Change our border policy. Nope. Sign Geneva Convention. Nope. Damn, enable release vassal? Nah, I don't want to release any vassals. Choose a tech school, maybe? Actually, what what can we get? Military industrial complex, the sea power, and the merchant marine. Hmm. Sea power and the merchant marine might make the most sense, although the traditional academia. I don't want to hurt myself when it comes to any tech. What the heck? Okay, um. There's still steamers. We want to go for that. But we also want to go revolution, counter revolution, trying to get more national focuses. Military industrial complex. Hey, we're pretty far behind on the old uh, military power, aren't we? Yeah, they have 16. We only have 11. Of course, we can get a whole 20. But that military industrial complex hurts culture. Well, they both hurt culture. Would I rather go for army or navy? Commerce or industry? I think the military industrial complex makes more sense. Just because we want more industry. Commerce doesn't matter as much as industry, I don't think. Oh, no, Ottomans. I do not care about you. Yeah, sorry. Wait, acquisition of British Egypt? Are they taking Sinai? No, they're annexing Egypt. Oh, okay. There's the British. Taking over all of Egypt. God, they are too powerful. Alright, Philippines. Let's decrease the opinion of the Americans again. Beat them down to neutral. And we're going to dissolve the alliance because now we can declare war on them. Dissolve alliance. We don't have a truce. Great. And we'll just justify and establish a protectorate. Great. So with that, we'll have all of the Philippines under our control. Screw you, America. We're just screwing over America, really. <laughs> all their power is weak. I want the laissez-faire. Definitely want the liberals to win. Or the conservatives. Either one, really. And so, who else should we focus on? Guangdong, can we even... You know, let's attempt... We really... Oh, they really hate us. Oh, there you go. Establish Protectorate. We got caught. That should be fine. How many more days? Eh, about three more months. Tuberculosis. Oh, Hawaii is getting fucked, huh? Well, that's what you get for not being Japanese. All right, lazy fair. Let's get aboard and let's head on over to the Philippines. Establish with the protectorate. And uh, yay. Actually, you know what? Land for now. You should have just landed there in the first place. Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. All right, not that long. More lazy fair, please. We're going to go straight to Manila. Go ahead, declare war. They're not... Just check again. They're not friendly. All right, cool. Oh, they're friendly with us, but not with anyone else. Let's go ahead and land. Take them down. Actually, you know what? You should go down there. Cool. And that should be... There you go. 
Wait, why is there already 30? Can we get an extra soldier? Wait, who's needing... Oh, wait, you know what? Someone might need you. There you go. There you go. Huh, that's weird. Okay, well, there you go. That's uh, 100 brigades. 300,000 soldiers. And in reality, we have 470,000. Great. Just great. All right. Anti-Colonial League. Yeah, Socialists can gain militancy. I am okay with that. Do -do -do. Sorry, I'm just checking. Make sure everything's going quite nicely. Uh, okay, so Revolution, Counter-Revolution is about to finish. Although that might cause, like, communism to pop up, will it? Dogma of violence, egalitarianism, whatever. And uh, we should focus on military tech next, I think. Because if we're ever going to hope to attack an actual great power, we're going to need some uh, big firepower, you know? Alright, let's go ahead. Iron breach loaded artillery. Especially the Americans. The Americans is what I'm really uh, focused on taking out. All right, there you go. The Philippines have been annexed. Oh, Sulu still exists. And they're technically a part of the Philippines. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Whatever. There you go. The Philippines is ours. Just keep these two armies around here, I think. Great. So the Japanese, you know, we're a successful empire. We definitely own a good portion of the um, Pacific. Guangdong. Can't do anything to them, do punitive expedition, but not really much else. So primitive, uncivilized, partially westernized. We establish protectorate on the Ratakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
We might be able to pop them out. Oh, the Taisho era. Colonial states that are not Japanese. Wait, in, wait. They're in a colonial state and is Japanese will become more reactionary. That's fine. No, no one in my colonial states are even Japanese, so. It's basically no one. But now we got terrorist cells. That's always fun. We have Vietnamese nationalists. Uh, oddly enough, not that many people for political reforms, but these social reforms, yeah. It's weird. Okay, we'll just wait for there we go. Almost at 100. When is this discrediting end? On the 30th of September. Once that happens, we'll pop up. And let's increase relations one last time. There we go. They're running out of power for their own dude. That's kind of embarrassing. Increase opinion. Come on. Yeah, I think we'll, we're going to be able to do it. And that's another million people under our control. Awesome. All right, the naval base is finished. Uh, yeah, we want cruisers and stuff, definitely. And of course, we're going to need those naval bases. Now, this is definitely going to cost us a pretty penny. I think I might just build these in actual Japan. Like, not my colonial nations. Alright, and that should be... That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, 10 is plenty. Alright, back to the kingdom. Alright, I think I'm... Yep, I, it looks as though they've just given up on... Okay, I'm just going to call him Siam. It's Siam. Austria is a communist dictatorship. Okay. That's a thing, I guess. Alright, excellent. And almost there. The Swedish Congo. Why is it always Sweden? Like, I never see Belgium actually get the Congo, even though that's historically what happens. All right, there you go. We remove them from Sphere. Jugoku, yeah, become more liberal. I'm okay with that. Oddly enough, the conservatives won. Still don't know how, but they won. Projects all going fine. Yep, we are getting some iron. Come on, you can get more. You know you can. I believe in you. All right, decrease the opinion of the British. Do the British hate me? Are we still allied? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's just make sure our relations stay up. Even though I'm kicking them out of Siam. One last decrease of opinion, and then we'll go ahead and declare... Well, not declare, but, uh, you know, begin our annexation. Or at least justification for annexation. Oh, God, they like us too much, actually. That's not good. Uh-oh, militancy got pretty high. Eh, it's okay. Just a couple nationalists here and there. Doesn't really matter. Decrease relations. And justify our war. We're establishing a protectorate. Great. Uh, so we already have two over here. Although, let's just get three. Just because I think that'll just make things a lot safer. You, my friends, can get up here. Supply limit's pretty low. Maybe I should go ahead and get some more, like, chemistry. Chemistry tech. Right, we got caught, but not for that much. Ah, uh, fine, lose militancy. I don't think it matters. It's going to come back up anyways. Yeah, inorganic chemistry. Let's go ahead and get that. Screw you, Serbia. Going bankrupt. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Running around leaving scars. Oh, there's a satellite of the Renata Hadagavagatakasan Kingdom? Renata Hadagavagatakasan Kingdom. Who are you at war with? Ooh, the French, really? What is this big war over? Wow, the. There's a ton of wars. French colonial conquest of Portuguese Gambia. Oh. Interesting. Well, who cares about that? Oh, they're allied with some people. Wait, actually, they're allied with Ching, but that really doesn't matter. And Champasyak. Oh, wait, they're vassal. Well, Ching doesn't matter because Ching is weak and squishy. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I don't think I'm going to declare until I get this inorganic chemistry in April. What is this? The line of advantage. 
Ooh, leadership modifier, that sort of stuff. Everyone who's Japanese will become 10% more jingoism. Nice. And what is this? Adopt a Shushken Rikken policy. Oh, right. I forgot about this. So we get army and naval tech. Nice. There you go. We didn't even need to get that stupid. Um, yeah, that academic confusion is now just hurting us. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Oopsie poops. All right, so we got our war, but again, I want to wait until we get high enough supply limit. There's no point in losing troops to uh, to attrition. All right, well, don't do, doesn't look like Bangkok is gonna fall anytime soon to the rebels. Ooh, a ton of research points or yeah, I think research points more important. Great. Okay, uh, let's get more army tech, military statistics. Might as well. Uh, yeah, let's get more jingoism. Lots and lots of jingoism, apparently. How much? Are, yeah, 22% jingoism somehow. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay, declare war. We're establishing a protectorate. Could I call the United Kingdom in? Yeah, sure, why not? UK would actually join. That's great. Oh, and they're at war with Guangdong again? Really? What is this? More Chinese unification? Yep. Ah, oh, poor Ching. Poor, poor Ching. They're so weak and squishy. Men for the colonies. Yes, land, liberty, labor. Guangdong, do you want access? Sure. I don't care. Social responsibility. Ooh, Portugal went in debt. Ah, bad news, bud. Bad news. Once a grand colonial power, now weak and squishy. Fuck it, I'm going to take East Canton from them. No. No, definitely not. We get battleships. So for a battleship, though, I need a level four, but I almost have level four. So with battleships, now that is a definite way to dominate the seas. With enough battleships, I mean, it's going to cost us a pretty penny. Speaking of which, I think I should start going down a bit more commerce tech because uh, I need money. I'm starting to lose quite a bit. Looks as though, yeah, these factories, yeah, some of them aren't doing that well. Although, then there's this fucking factory. Jesus Christ. That is a lot of money coming in. Why are we losing so much, huh? Oh, no one's getting anything they need. I guess that's just Japan for you. We're just too much population, not enough resources to go around. State capitalism? No, I do not want state capitalism. At least not right now. Right, you can come up here. All right, there's Bangkok falling with the fall of Bangkok. Oh, there's more reactionaries. Lots of reactionaries. Uh, let's get some of my business regulation, that sort of thing. 30% socialist in the upper house. Wow. Just wow. You can get down here. Wait, who's this? Why do we have one brigade of... Oh, we never united these guys. Oh, shit. Whatever. Alright, you want to surrender yet? Oh, is it up to the... No, it's not. Uh, Ching, do you just want to leave? Come on, Ching. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to yourself. You're at war with two of the most powerful countries in the world. Japan and the United Kingdom. So this is just not a smart idea. I can tell you that right here, right now. It ain't smart. Okay. Well, they're going to do it the hard way then. Mm, limited citizenship. Even though that doesn't matter because we only accept the Japanese. So are, there are no other citizens possible. All right. And there's that. Uh, you know what? Navy, why don't you go ahead and take me over to uh, Beijing so we can have a bit of a talk with the Qing. A bit of a talk, if you will. Still won't accept. All right, Navy, bring me over. They still have no army, right? Yep, still no army. They have a Navy, but no army. Pretty funny. Pretty funny, pretty funny, I will be honest. And there we go. 
Never mind, we don't even need to go to the Qing. Awesome. So, the Japanese basically own Southeast Asia. Just what I wanted. That's good. Good borders, although if Cambodia, France, and Champasak could just go away, that would be great. We have some Assamese nationalists. Oh my god, we have some people liberated? Dude, that's four million people. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? All right. Uh, okay, so more mining and output. Yeah, boot output efficiency. Although we still we still want that throughput efficiency. We just got to make our uh, industry good now. Ooh, fuck it. We'll open up all these factories. See if they can succeed again. There you go. There you go. Some of them are actually winning. Steamer. I don't know why we're not getting enough coal. What the fuck? I mean, we're a great power. We should have enough stuff, you know? Just not getting any fucking iron. Why do we not have iron? Come on, buy any amount of iron you can get for our capitalists. It's all we ever need. We look at most factories. Kyushu is doing nicely. Chugoku has too many. Chamber of Commerce protest. All capitalists become more liberal or Japanese Sakhalin becomes more liberal. Alright, well Japanese Sakhalin is nothing, so that's only two and a half thousand men, so. Who cares? Not me. Alright, let's get some more industry tech. More mechanization, if you will. If you will. Good, good, good. Things are going good. At least for now, they are. It's, it's still only been one episode, and we've already taken the Philippines and Siam. Pretty good. Once 1890 rolls around, we're going to go along and take some Polynesian islands. Hopefully the British and the Dutch stay the fuck out, and the French too. Oh, oh damn, the French already took these islands? Oh, I wanted those. The Americans already had those for, for a while. All right, but we should be able to take over these islands. And of course we have Hawaii, so that's a very major island to have. All right, we're buying way too many, uh, way too much iron now. I know that for a fact. We'll help fund all these expansions and stuff. Ooh, Egyptian tombs, lots of uh, tech. I like it. More tax efficiency, and eh, that's good. Lose militancy, that's good. All right, all right, all right. It's going uh, quite nice. There's still only six in the world. Surprise, yeah, we'll, we'll eventually beat Italy. Maybe even beat the United States. Who's the US at war with? With Portugal. Why? Uh, acquisition of Portuguese Zanzibar? Oh, oh, they must have, uh... Okay. I don't know if they're, like, in their sphere or something. The U.S. is, uh... Oh my god, they're getting invaded by the Portuguese up there. That is weird. That is weird to see. Very, very weird to see. There's that. Uh, fine. Let's get the assembly line as well. Assembly lines is going to help so much when it comes to our uh, industry. Okay. You guys civilized yet? Nope. Still not even partially westernized. Cambodia is still a satellite of the fucking French. Who are the French allied with? Russia? And who's Russia allied with? Uh, just the French. I mean, at least when it comes to great powers. Man, if I could bring the British into a war. Where the hell are all, are all the British armies. Oh my god, they only have six ships? Well, well, well. I mean, they still have, you know, all these armies. But only six ships. That's pretty bad for them. And now that we can build battleships. Ooh. See, wait, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 